Hello, hello. Welcome to this episode. Uh, my name is Nadej Cezana and I go by Nan and I'm a cravings coach, which means that I help people conquer their food cravings for good so that they can zip up their jeans easily if they want to or get off the floor effortlessly, right? So that's my job and that's what I love helping people do. That's why also I'm having this channel so that I can spread the word and I can help you see what's possible for you because it is, it is possible to conquer your food cravings for good and reap all the amazing benefits when you're in control around food, right? So what I'm going to do in the following episode is to actually go through the three steps, the three simple steps that I help my clients go through which are first, understanding why they want to eat the food, two, decrease the longing they have for the food, and three, effortlessly, easily decline the food so that then they can reap those famous benefits, like maybe uh, climbing the stairs and not being out of breath, or going back on the horse, really. <laughs> physically going back on the horse they haven't been able to go back on because they were afraid of hurting it, right? So that's what I help my clients do on a regular basis. And today I wanted to focus on the understanding why we want the food part, right? And so I want you to picture uh, this exercise as being you, you are at the grocery store or the supermarket and you don't have a basket, you don't have a cart. So all you have is your hands and your arms. And so you're putting the stuff in your hands and your arms. And of course, it's very cumbersome. It's risky too, because it, some things could fall and then somebody could get hurt, somebody could slip and get hurt, right? So it's not very convenient. Imagine when you want to take something more than the, your risk putting something um, down too, and it's not very convenient at all. So what we want to do is put the things in the basket, put the things, put the, the items in the cart so that then it's easily to take care of them, right? What we want to do when we want to understand why you long for the food is really take all those things that are cumbersome and not helpful to you, all the thoughts, all the reasons why you reach out for the food and put them in the cart, put them in the basket so that then we can have a look at them, we can take care of them much more easily, much more beneficially too, right? And how we do that, how do we look at the reasons why we reach out for the food? When simply you can do what we call a thought download, which means that you're going to take a pen, you're going to take a piece of paper, you're going to set the timer if you want to, or you can record yourself on your dictaphone app, or you can use a coach and say everything that's on your mind to the coach. You, there are different ways to explore. You can also use your laptop. I know I do. I use my laptop because I like things to be neat. I like things to be efficient, but it really doesn't matter, right? You can also take any piece of paper and then afterwards you crumple it, you, you, you burn it, whatever. It doesn't matter if there's not um, track of what you've done. It doesn't matter. Just putting it on paper, just saying it out loud to your phone or to a person, to a coach, to a friend, maybe, that's already enough, right? That's already amazing because you, as what happens when you put things in the card, you get to see what's on your mind. You get to see what's actually causing you to reach out for the food when you're not hungry, right? And that's super important. Last week, actually, in the last episode, I gave you a little exercise also to see what was on your mind and to explore that. It was a simple three-step exercise that I'm going to repeat here for you, which was based on the two main things, the main principles. When we reach out for extra food, it's because of the way we feel. So the first thing to do is actually to ask ourselves, how am I feeling, right? That's the first clue why you're reaching for the food is the way you currently feel, right? So just one word would be enough to actually explore. The second question was, what is this desired emotion that you want to feel and you think that the food is going to provide you with, right? So it could be anything from right, stimulated or pleasure, right? So that's a second way to find out what's going on for you. It's just 
imagine, think ahead of time, anticipate the emotion that you think you'll feel when you reach for the food. And the third way to see what's really going on for you is to actually look at the emotion that you actually feel. You wanted to eat the food because you were not feeling very well or you wanted to prolong the state of wellness, well-being that you had. You reach out for the food because you think this particular food is going to make you feel this particular way, stimulated, energized, vibrant, alive. And the third emotion that you can come up with is actually the real emotion that you feel once you've eaten the food. Those three emotions are already a thought download. It's already exploring what's going on for you that makes you reach for the food. Now I want you to, I want to give you another exercise, which is also super simple because some people are very good at naming the emotions. But as I said last week, it can be difficult if you've not, if you're not used to having a look at your emotion. If like me, you were told as a kid, well, not to express your emotion, but better yet, not have any emotion, which is what a lot of people have experienced in their childhood. Okay. It doesn't mean that something's wrong. Something was wrong in your, in your childhood. It's just a way of being, a way of raising kids because that's the way we think. Nothing's gone wrong. So if there may be a different way for you to access what's going on for you, rather than the emotional way, it could be the thought way. And I know that I'm very analytical. I know that I'm very, uh, I like thinking, I like thoughts, I like sentences in my mind. So for me, it's easier to access what's going on for me with this next exercise that I'm going to give you. So really, there are three steps too. Have you noticed that I like three steps? The first one is to actually plan what you're going to eat today. And it could be, well, uh, I'm going to have um, a piece of fruit for dessert, right? So just simply plan what you're going to have. That's the plan. And then write down what you actually do, right? And so in, if you had planned to have a piece of fruit, but you notice that actually you're having um, a piece of cheesecake, a slice of cheesecake, just write it down. I'm going to um, give you more tips about that later on. So just simply write down what you actually have instead of the piece of fruit. And then in the last column, in the last step, examine why. What is the thought? What is the reason that made you reach out for the cheesecake slice instead of the piece of fruit? And it could be reasons like, well, the piece of fruit doesn't look that good, actually. It looks a bit, you know, it's a bit blemished. It doesn't look uh, fresh, so I'm not going to. But the cheesecake, instead, it looks very rich. It looks very comforting. And I need comfort. I need some relief. So just write a little, well, either a sentence or a little paragraph, whatever you want. And this is also another way to access the reasons why you reach for the food. Because if you eat when you're not hungry, if you eat more than you want, if you eat what you didn't plan to eat, if you re eat foods that are richer than you wanted to, it's only because of the way you feel. And the way you feel always comes from the way you think, right? Your thoughts about the plan, about the piece of fruit, about the cheesecake, is what's drive, generating an emotion that's driving you to take action. Not eating the piece of fruit, but instead eating the piece of cheesecake, right? So I like to use this exercise as a thought finder, right? It, this exercise of having the plan, noting the reality, what you actually do, and asking yourself simply why, this is what I call a thought finder. It helps you notice, become aware of your reasons for doing this and not doing that. Simply. Here's the caveat. When you ask yourself why, I want it to be a curious why. And here I want to distinguish curious from furious because often what we do when we ask, ah, oh, why did I eat the cheesecake instead of the fruit? This is not actually being curious, this is being furious. We ask ourselves the right question, why? But it's not coming from curiosity. It's coming from 
anger with ourselves, okay? And the problem with that is that it's not going to lead to an answer that's going to be helping for us. Because when we ask ourselves, oh, why did I do that again? <laughs> then the chances are that first, we're not going to answer the question, or if we do, it's going to be a judgment about ourselves. We're going to criticize ourselves. Oh, I'm such a loser. I can never get anything right. These answers are not helping us at all. What we want is the curious why that's going to give us an answer. Like, for instance, what I said, it's just ah, the, the cheesecake looked more appealing to me than the piece of fruit. And then we can go deeper. Why? Oh, because I've got such great memories of eating cheesecake when I was in England with my pen friend's family and the mum used to make those amazing cheesecakes that I had never tasted before in France, right? So I was so looking forward to that British taste that was so precious to me. And it was actually not the cheesecake. It was actually me being with that family. I felt so loved. I felt so supported. I want that back. So asking the curious why is really going to help you figure out the reason why you reach out for the cheesecake. And as you've noticed, it may have nothing to do about the cheesecake per se. That's why it's so important to ask this curious why. And you're probably going to find two main reasons, what you don't want and what you do want. That's exactly what I said. It's just that you're going to notice that you don't want to have this piece of fruit that doesn't look good to you, but you're going to want something that looks so much more appealing to you, so much more appetizing, right? So that's why we do this exercise. I hope this is helpful to you. Let me know if you like those exercises of really simply looking into what's happening for you when you notice you reach for the food. And is it helping for you to look at your emotions, the emotion that you're currently feeling, the emotion you want to feel thanks to the food, and the emotion that you actually feel after eating the food? Or is it more helpful to you to have a look at the thoughts, the thoughts, the paragraph, the stories behind reaching out for the food um, with the three columns, the plan, the reality, and the reason for the reality, right? I hope this is really helpful. Let me know. I also want to invite you to a free Crave Control consultation with me because this is the opportunity for you. This is my gift to you to explore all those reasons why you reach for the food. Those reasons, of course, preventing you from enjoying the life that you do want to, learn, to live, from being able to climb up the stairs without being out of breath, from being able to stand up from the floor without any aches and pain, but in, on the contrary, with more flexibility, with more dynamism, right? More energy throughout the day, right? I can help you. All you need to do really is to Click the link that you're going to find below this video and book your slot according to, depending on the time that suits you best. And then we're going to have a conversation where you tell me everything that's on your mind. You do exactly as, I, as I've suggested. You do a thought download. You dump everything that's on your mind as far as this issue with food, with maybe your body, your weight, your health, everything about that. You tell me everything that's on your mind. You also tell me what you want, right? What is your dream come true? What does it look like? This vibrant future version of you who can do what she probably can't do as well as she wants right now, right? We explore all this. And then what's super fun is also to explore the ways to reach that goal for you, right? The ways you can be more who you want to be, who can the person you want to be who can wear all the clothes that she wants to instead of finding the ones that actually hide what she doesn't want people to see, right? We find all the ways. The ways that you've already explored and what worked, what didn't, what you can use right now to go to that place where your life is the dream, right? We can also explore if that's something that you want what it would be like to work with me, right? To go through those three simple steps, like understanding why you want the food, decreasing the longing for the food, and then declining the food easily, effortlessly, right? I can tell you how I would work with you. 
And then, of course, I'm going to invite you to join my program if that's something that you want. And to give you the details right now, because there's no secret, <laughs> it's a program of 12 weeks, or so three months basically, and it costs 3,000 euros. And you get for this time, for this investment in you, you get my brain for three, three months basically. That means that we meet every week for 30 minutes face to face on Zoom, but you also have access to all the knowledge that I've gathered for all those years as an experienced expert coach who has gone through that, through that struggle and has gone through the piece. Now you get to explore with me all the many ways that you reach for the food that you don't actually want to reach to because on top of the 30 minute coaching session every week, you get to con communicate with me on a daily basis, Monday through Friday, on Instagram, via the DMs, via voice messages. And I help you as if on, in the moment, right, understand what's going on for you, decrease the longing for the food so that then you decline it easily and you get the health, you get the body, you get the body size, you get the body weight that you do want right? So here's my invitation to you. All you need to do is actually book your session and we'll see how it goes. No pressure and a big hug to you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Take care. Bye.